it's amazing yeah, here at the Prairie yeah. Curling Club. Yeah, and it's yeah, a wonderful yeah. place to curl oh, and come yeah. watch curling. Big scrub here to get by the one on the button. Oh, just by. <clears throat> Very good sweep to get by the one on the top four. Team Young doesn't mind forcing Team Morozumi into taking one here, so call is to draw and freeze on the back red. Needs rock to curl over. Seems to be hanging out there. Just can, didn't get the finish on that rock. Could give Team Morozumi an easy hit and roll in. Might even catch the back yellow. Trying to make a curl here. Seems to be a little out or a little thick to the room. <clears throat> Unlucky break there, catching the back one. Probably a little out on that. And we've been here all weekend. And definitely, there's definitely tracking pass on this ice. If you get a little out, a little up, it does not come back and runs fairly straight. You can try and carve it as much as you can but it is very hard to get movement once it picks up that track. And they just got caught in that. <coughs> so if you're new curlers or new to watching, you'll see the time clocks in behind above the RBC sign. They're left over from the junior championship game. We were timing the juniors. Uh, because of regulations so the clock is not relevant to this game we are not timing the men's tankard final or the women's tankard final so that clock is just there for show but the rbc logo there is not there for show because a big shout out to my really good friends keith joel and david thompson for always sponsoring the stew cell series they give a lot of money to the series and to the sport of curling and they are the best mortgage specialists in the province. So if you need any mortgages, please reach out to Keith Joel and Dave Thompson of RBC for all your mortgage needs. So feels confident in this side. I'm surprised he didn't try and draw around the other side because he called that last shot. Uh, so trying to draw in behind, maybe grab a piece of the forefoot. I think they're on it for weights and also on it for line. Trying to carve it over. They've got a good rock. They can finish it. <clears throat> Keep it going. Just needed to curl a touch more. But great attempt for his first rock. Skip Team Young. Gonna check the overhead to see if it's shot. Uh, yep, sitting there for a shot rock now. But. You can see Morozumi is going to probably try a soft hit and stick to try and force deuce or multiple points. 
たから15になってるかなぐらいのイメージでかな2本投げたから相手が OK13 から13半遅くてもねあんまり履きたくないよここ一回落ちちゃうがいいだと思うブラシはつけてがっつりつけて So here we are, the first skip rock for Team Marzumi. Looking for a hit. Ning! Whoa, whoa! Ning! Whoa! Free! Ning! Yep! Yep! Yes! Just a soft weight hit、yes! and a little bit of a roll. Yes! Seem to think it's going、right. to curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great shot. Might have rolled a little bit. Too close to give a good hit and roll in. There we go. So, probably thinking a little bit about the ice. He knows there's that spot out there that the rocks with weights tend to track. And run fairly straight.、Oh. So, probably going to throw a little bit down on the weight so he doesn't get caught in that track and he gets the roll underneath. The roll is key because a nose hit could set up a double on the two yellows for a possible score of five. So, must roll in. Very important shot here. Last rock for Team Young. Without the hammer, needs to hit and roll in. Gotta make a curl, needs the roll. Car! Any roll they can get, any roll they can get. Yikes. Needed a deeper roll to be protected. The top one is biting. This could be an open hit for five. Had to get the roll there. <clears throat> Yusuke Mora Seeming is coming for his last rock. Team Morizumi could have a nice open hit, and if it stays for an opening of five. So keep in mind these curling teams started at 10 a.m. this morning, they played a quarterfinals. Then they had a bite e d played a semi final, and now they're here in the、Whoa. final. Three. Three, yep. Yep. Yes! So they've curled a、Yay! lot today.、Yes! Hard on that Three. guard. Three. Three. Oh, no, they're fine. So, nice hit for an opening. I believe it's five to start off the first end of the Sioux Cells. Tankard men's final. Let's go. Oh, we're looking for a measure on that. So, definitely four. Going to measure for the fifth one. They think the back yellow might be out canting the front yellow. So, asking for a measure, which would be very crucial at this time. You don't want to start a curling game and give up five. Especially against a very. Oh, no, I think he's waved off the measure. He's conceding the five. So, 5 0 in the first end. And let's go to a very exciting commercial from one of our sponsors. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday League game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all inclusive streaming solution featuring high quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. 
offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me, Stu, a call for a personal tour. We are here at the RBC Bloor West Village branch, and I'm here with two of their best mortgage brokers, Keith Joel and Dave Thompson. RBC has been an amazing sponsor of my curling season for about 10 years. And Keith, why is it so important to be involved in the community and sponsor use that as sports? First of all, Stuart, it's been a fantastic 10 years. I'm so happy to be involved, and so is RBC. We enjoy being out there, meeting all the curlers, and having a lot of fun along the way. So thanks for that. I just want to say I'm with you. I'm a big supporter of the community, and I just want to let everyone know all my mortgages with RBC, all my accounts with RBC. It's an amazing bank. These are great mortgage brokers. So look, go to rbc.com and come into the Blur West Village branch and visit these great guys. So welcome back to the Barry Crane Club. We are here and streaming the Stu Cells Tankard Men's Final. Off to a very good start is Team Morozumi, who scored five in the first time with the hammer. And now Team Young is in a, in a must-score position here with such a big lead. Uh, so... The corner guard went up, uh, didn't draw behind. So a lot of red rocks in play. Obviously, team 
Morizumi just wants to hold Team Young to one. And Team Young would definitely like to score a deuce here to sort of close that gap. And if you're in the Barry area, come down here and watch some curling. We have the men's and women's final going on. We have a great spectator lounge, great bar staff, and a wonderful kitchen here if you're hungry. You can see on the ice, you can see some boards. Big shout out to our sponsors, Remax Hallmark, my really, really good friends, Ken McLaughlin and Deborah Bain from Remax Hallmark Realty Limited, who have always sponsored the Stu Cells uh, series since it started. I am Stu from Stu Cells, and my niece Jenny are here for any of your real estate needs, stucells.ca. And of course, you just saw a wonderful commercial from Living Water Resorts, a beautiful resort up in Collingwood. And we've teamed up with the resort to put on the Stu Cells Living Water Resort Collingwood yep. event, which is going to be on the November 24th weekend. Yep. The resort is gorgeous and has a great indoor pool, hot tub, wonderful restaurant, and a great place to go away for the weekend. Enjoy some curling, enjoy the spa. So nothing going well for Team Young here in the second end. Was hoping to come onto the back two, but ticked the higher rock and rolled out. But the end is still early, lots of rocks left in play. Also, I'd like to thank all the hard work from Perry Marshall, who runs the event, does the schedule, does all the teams, does the pools, figures it all out. The event could not go on without him. Gets together the rules together, organizes all the officials. So big shout out to Perry Marshall for all his help. He does most of my Stu Cells series events. So he did Oakville and now this one. He's also a big supporter with me of the U20, U18 curling. So we had the junior event here today. And then uh, we will be here next weekend for the U18 event. 35 of the top U18 teams are coming to curl. So stay tuned next weekend for some okay, wonderful go. curling. Yeah. So that rock looks like it may have picked something and because it changed directions very quickly. The Barry Curling Club does an awesome job of keeping the dirt out of the club. You have to remove your outdoor shoes at the door, but that is curling. Mom. Once in a while, a little piece of dirt gets on the ice. The rock goes along, hits that dirt, ends up going a different direction. You can only get a little upset for it at the time because, you know, nothing you could have done. But in a final game, when there's a lot at stake, oh. then it's kind of annoying when it does happen. Three. Car! Car! So call again to hit off the back one car, car. and roll and freeze. Oh, yeah. Oof. Needs to roll on freeze. Great shot. Team Young has to put rocks in play. Has to put jamming opportunities in play. He would have liked that to hit a little bit over more, been a little bit closer to the red rock. So when this attempt to hit happens, they would jam and it would stay because Team Morizumi has a five point lead and Team Young would love to score a deuce here to keep in this game. A lot of experience on the team, Morozumi side. He's been to six, six world championships, went to the 2018 Olympics, silver medal in the Asian Winter Games, gold medal in the Pacific Asian Games. Team Young from Korea is a brand new up and coming team winning the 2022 Korean Men's Championship. So youth against experience whoa, is always whoa, 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 whoa. fun. Okay. Okay, okay, opening up the center.
trying to get it open for that back rock. Giving Ti Young a good chance. Yeah, draw in. Start to set up multiple rocks. Needs a multiple point okay. score here. There's Good nothing ball. fun in curling about giving up five in your first N, but you just have to sort of shake it off and forget about it and just curl your game. If you get a deuce here, maybe steal one in the next N, then you're five to three, only down two. The game's alive. So you just Line have to ball. let it go. Line you have good. to shake it off Learn. and go. just play your game. You got here, you're in the men's final. You had a good run, so keep playing how you're playing. Just a tad heavy, needed it to curl and finish. Could be an easy double here, even if you lose the back red. Morisumi's not going to care because he doesn't want anything for them to freeze on to. So I think you'll see a big weight hit, get rid of all three. So we've already handed out some trophies here in Barry. We had the Stu Cells Junior Women's and Men's Final. Big shout out to Team Toner from Sudbury winning, winning the women's final. Uh, runner up Team Marco for a very exciting game. And then Team Wendling from the States beat out Team Malima for the men's championship. And another exciting game. It's so awesome to see the depth of the pool of young curling teams in Canada because they are going to be the future of curling. And we have a lot of great young teams up and coming. So it's wonderful to see. So I think we're going to see a big weight shot here to get rid of all three. So here we are on the second end. <coughs> first skip stones. Skip Morizumi is first rock, looking for the big hit. Get rid of both yellows and the red. Bing. Yes, 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 yes. Hi. Yes. yes. Hmm. Yes. I thought he would have thrown a lot more weight to try and get rid of it all, but oof. Just by. Got both yellows out, so he obviously knew the angles better than me. I thought he was going to throw a bullet down, but obviously that works. So Team Young has to draw in and put a rock to be number two and then deal with the one on the forefoot after because no point in hitting that unless you hit and roll over, but must put a second rock in place to score a deuce here. Ryan Tua. Lee. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, man. Wait, man. <laughs> okay, looking to try and draw in. <laughs> Must be second shot. <laughs> Looks a little heavy. Uh, I think we're okay. Let's look at the overhead. Yeah, we are second shot. So, mission accomplished. 
So a big shout out to Melanie and Al who have helped us so much getting the streaming in place and getting the club ready for the event. We had 66 teams here starting Thursday at three o'clock. So two events on side by side, the Toronto Tankard and the Toronto Junior Tankard. So thank you very much for all your help and organization and along with their club members and volunteers and staff. It's been a wonderful five days here in Barrie. Team Manuel and I went out for a Thanksgiving dinner at the farmhouse last night, which was delicious. Our server was amazing, took great care of us. So really more Zumi doesn't have to do much here. He's already got one, so I think the plan is just guarded and force Young into a very tough hit for two. And Apostle will give up another one. So the most important thing of this shot is going to be the line to make sure the rock is covered. The height of the guard is not really as important as the fact of that rock being covered so it can't be a hit and stick can't be made for the deuce on it out of his hand maybe a little bit for weight but must curl over well, the good thing of that is a hit may jam or on the yellow or looking at it now to see if it goes across. It should go across. Miss Mary, he has no choice. He has to hit it. And at this point, you must take the risk and try and get the deuce. Even if he comes off of it thin, he could roll maybe to the other one on the other side and stick for a second shot. But when you're down five points, you must go for it. You must start taking the risks. An easy, safe shot. Not good here. So here you go, last yep. rock. Yep, yep. In the second end. Yep. Whoa. Why? Why? Whoa. Why did you say Ooh, just by. Oh, beautiful shot for the deuce. Went across. Great shot. When the pressure is on, great time to come up with that great shot. 5 2 in the second. That was a game saver. And let's hear some fun stuff from our sponsors. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. 
Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. Okay, welcome back to Barry and a very exciting second and it was a must make shot for Team Young to hit not and avoid the jam and score his dues, just papered the guard, Whew, it was exciting, made the hit, just rolled past, did not get the jam and scored his dues. So now we've got a game on after giving up a five in the first, now he's back with his dues. So. As I said, you've got to just let those big ends go and just get back to your game because there's lots of rocks left to play. But welcome to the Stu Cells Tankard Men's Final here at the Barry Curling Club. We have an experienced team, Morizumi, against a new young champ, Korean champ men's team, Team Young from Korea. So a very good game so far. Lots of rocks in play, lots of missed opportunities, lots of great shots. So it's a good start to the final. As I've been mentioning to new curler, curlers and new spectators to sports, yep. skips have their objectives when they start and end. Yep. Team Young would yep. probably like to steal this and go 5-3 and shorten the gap. But forcing Team Morizumi to just one is also not bad. They just do not want to give up any more multiple ends because they do not want a hard lead to beat. So if you're in the Barry area and you've had your family dinner and want to get out and watch some curling, come on down to the Barry Curling Club. The bar staff is here. The Spectator Lounge is great, and you can watch some great curling. Oof, just got a piece. <laughs> so Morozumi wants to keep it clear, wants to get in to score multiple points. Team Young would love lots of rocks out front, but has now opted to maybe freeze off the back. Hope for some jamming and missing on some hits. Oh. Back four. So the sweepers are saying the weight is there. Back four. Yep. Hi. Woman there. 
Ritska! Wait, two for that! Woof, just by the guard. Great sweeping to get it by that guard. Right on the back rock. Maybe a little bit of too much of a tap, but great shot. Focusing. So the call from Yusuke Morisumi is to get rid of the guards. Huh? Doesn't want any guards in play. Has the hammer. Like the whole four foot open. Team Young's objective is to try and steal the one. Worst case scenario, Force One does not want to give up a deuce here. These teams started at 10 a.m. this morning in the quarterfinals, then had a small break and played the semifinals, and then another small break and are here in the final. So they've done a lot of curling. So another guard going up to try and get in team Morozumi's way. Would love for to have that yellow be second shot and count. So not to give up a multiple score here. Car. Oh, seems a little car. light. Has car. to keep it going. Keep it going car. to try and get it over as far as it can. Uh, didn't seem to get the finish. Might have been a little light. Okay. So draw in, top four, freeze to the one. That's already, already on the button. Good shot, maybe got a little bit too much separation. But I don't think Team Young's in a hitting mood. I think they're going to try and put a rock that they can use. Okay. I think the call back a weight, try and come around the yellow. The yellow is a very high guard. So once these rocks do start to curl, they do curl well. So if they can get by that guard with the right weight, they will get a finish. And trying to tap one red back and Hard. get enough separation so they could use that rock at Hard. another time. Trying to now make a Hard. curl. Trying to make Hard. a curl. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Good shot. I think it had to come up just a little bit more. I think they wanted to hit a little bit thicker. So they had more chance of a jam if they go to hit this. Vice came down to look at maybe hitting the guard, check the angles on the rocks. I think the call is now to do the same shot that Team Young just did. Come down with a heavy back eight. Brock try to hit the yellow off and roll. 
このぐらいでボード投げたじゃんあれが結構いってんだよね Now chatting about maybe throwing more weight at it, maybe a board weight, just to make sure you lose it. And with more weight, they can probably control it better because that guard is tight. So coming down with a board weight now. The objective is for sure just to make sure it goes. The rollover would be, or even to stay in the center line, a little bit rolling over would be good. Yep, yep, whoa, 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 whoa. Great shot. Missed the back one, but got a little bit too much for all. But now there's a really nice pocket to draw one in there and freeze it. Would be pretty tough to get rid of. So an opening here for Team Young to freeze one right on the button in the pocket. And force Team Morozumi to make a great shot on it. So if you're just tuning in, we are in the third end here at the Stu Cells Tankard Men's Event. We have Team Young from Korea, 2022 Korean Men's Champs, against an experienced Team Morozumi with some multiple world appearances, an Olympic gold, uh, Olympic medal, Olympic appearance and 2017, 2016 medal winners from Asian Winter Games and the Pacific Asian Games. So a new young team up against an experienced skip. Morizumi came out very strong in the first hand with a five, but then followed a uh, young, got their deuce to shorten it down. Now looking a good position here to steal. These teams have been curling all morning since 10 a.m. This is their third game. So. A little bit of tiredness on some of them after three games or two games. But giving us a good final here. Freezing it into this pocket is the goal. So it can't be removed. Seems to be curling my wreck on the top one. Uh, just still not bad. Still lots of good jamming possibilities there. Just had to hold it a little bit straighter, maybe a little bit more ice, curl a little bit more. They definitely wanted to be on the back rock at a different angle. So Team Morozumi had a game against Fournier in the semifinals. Team Young had a very, very, very close game against Team Purcell from Nova Scotia in the semifinals to get into the finals. It was a great game to watch. Came down to the last rock. But we have already started to hand out trophies here in Barrie. I handed out the trophies to the Sioux Cells Junior Women's and Men's Tankard winners. So Team Toner from Sudbury are this year's women's champs and Team Wendling from the United States are this year's men's championship. So congratulations to both teams. Both had great games, close games. Uh, Team Toner played Team Marco from High Park, my home club. It was a great game, really close, wonderful shot making. Team Wendling beat out Team Malima. Uh, so both had wonderful games. And a big shout out to yep. our, the High Park Club, my home yeah. club. Should be proud of Team Marco. They played Whoa. very, very well. Whoa. Whoa. Make it. Make it. So just with that angle a bit wasn't easy to hit that out 
Team Young wanted it to be in there more so they could, it would have a better jamming possibility. Now Team Young is in trouble again. Team Morozumi is sitting two. Team Young would really love to only give up one here. Giving up a deuce would not be ideal to be down 7-2. Trying to figure out how they, make, they, make, they can make the angles work for them. Thinking about hitting the top one back and basically sitting on the top forefoot. Would not be shot, but you would be conceding the one and make it very hard to get a deuce. <laughs> that yellow rock is a high guard, so it does look like a, not a lot of ice, but it does finish well. And they're hoping they can clear the guard. They've got to try and get around that guard and then sweep it to get to his nose as much as nose as possible can't hit this on the inside it'll just jam yep. on the red yep. gotta go yep. for a nose hit gotta get it yep. by the guard big sweep yep. to get it by the guard big sweep to get it by the guard have to get it by the guard oh. not by the guard but he had to be tight to the guard to get the nose hit it was the right call. Maybe not enough weight. Maybe he needed a touch more ice. Seemed to be on it right out of his hand. An easy draw for three. So draw to the open four foot for three and to take a very commanding lead of this game team morizumi from japan last rock of the third end already sitting two looking for three Team Young is looking at the scoreboard, may play back, may think about their options. But a big shout out to all our sponsors, Keith Joel, Dave Thompson, amazing mortgage specialist from the Royal Bank Canada, Deborah Bain and Ken McLaughlin from Remax Hallmark Realty Limited. Thank you so much for sponsoring me, Stu. And you've okay. got Stu Please. and Jenny and I no. of StuSells.ca no. for all your Please. real estate Please. needs. Please. No. Big scrub Please. to get it there for Whoa. a score of three. Whoa. Thought it was light out of the hand. Big pound. But no problem for three. So a score of three in the third. An eight to two. Very commanding lead probably going to see them play back so let's go to some of our amazing sponsors in the break Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. And we are out here in Waterdown. And you know what? If you are sick and tired of being in the city, you know, we all love Toronto. I love Toronto, but you know what? Maybe it's a little bit too crowded. Maybe there's a little bit too much gridlock. Maybe there's no place to walk and go see cool stuff. So come on out to Waterdown. It's awesome. Beautiful little village. You can walk, great shops, cafes. We have the Waterdown Memorial Park just over the street. It's got a splash pad, baseball diamond. It's got a skateboarding thing for kids. 
We have a huge Fortino's. I was in there today getting flowers. It's crazy, that story. It's unbelievable. So you have bike pass and you have the Bruce Trail and you have a ton. Hey guys, it's Stu here of StuSells.ca. Thought they were gonna play the fourth end, but handshakes, like I said, these guys started at 10 a.m. I played three games. An eight to two lead is tough to beat. So handshakes, team uh, Morizumi is your 2023 Sioux Sells Tanker champions. Uh, they beat Team Young from Korea. Uh, it was a quick game <laughs> and very fast when you give up a five and then score a three. It's hard to come back, but they played well all week and got to do some big shout outs and thank you. Melanie, Ian here at the Barry Curran Club for all their help. The Ice Curling Club. Remember, always reward curling sponsors. They give a lot of money to the sport. And it's great to always use their businesses, services.